Ladies and gentlemen, the first man to build 21 inch biceps, drug free. My friends, you know, I, I get a lot of um, comments and emails on the high intensity training. Now, you see, let me tell you something. I'm from the basic school. I don't know if, if you remember the Billy Banks Tybo phenomena. Have you heard of it since? I told people when they first came, ask me about it. I said, it won't last. It's too intense. I used to go to the, they had a studio on Ventura Boulevard in Sherman Oaks. And when it was hot, I used to go in there. You couldn't even get it. It was packed. And I laughed. I said, it will not last. He had like a boxing calisthenic thing. It was too intense. See, I tried uh, with this CrossFit and uh, insanity and uh, it's just so many of them now. It's like a whole big craze. Now, let me tell you something. I'd rather you do those than nothing. But it cannot be sustained. It's too intense. You see? And the intensity of it and it doesn't really build muscle tissue. You see most of these people, except the ones they use, they use weights as example. But they're relatively non-resistance exercises. It, and what happens when you do these non-resistance exercises, you don't get that muscle tone, that look, that inspires you to train harder. But that's not my, my problem with the high intensity. Fad, they got a million and one of them out there. And people, it's human nature. They learn, yearn for something that's going to be magical. And when it comes to the body, my friends, there's nothing magical. It's not an overnight. And some of these people go all out. And you know, a lot of these people, they lose the weight in six, seven months, they're right back to what they were. Because once they stop, they burn. First of all, what happens? It's psychologically not productive because it's too committed, too intense. Your mind will not maintain that kind of tensity. And then when you level off, you start going back to what you, you was eating. And it was like a waste. But at least it introduces you to exercise. But I see so many of them now. Billy Banks is the first one. I mean, Tai Ty, Taibo Ty was called. I don't know a lot of you fellows remember that they, they, they were the rage at one time. And I used to tell people, to come, oh, I'm doing the Taibo. I said, you won't last. Because I know it's just too intense. It's exciting and all that. But you can't keep it up. Now, the reason I love training with weights, for, and another thing, you could do that a little longer because it's used basically high-intensity calisthenics. It's not traumatizing the muscle where the muscle needs rest and recovery. There's no way these people do this six days a week. There's no way you can do that with, with, with weights because it breaks down of tissue to build muscle tissue because actually weight training is break down, build up. You break down the muscle training and the body compensates by building it stronger. The fibers get thicker. And it's a much slower process. It's not sexy and glamorous. It's jumping around the place and doing kickups and all that kind. Oh, that's fine. But you know, you look at your body. It's not very rewarding on how you look after doing all that because you're not shaping the muscle. You see, and a lot of times they get these guys that use weights as example. This is where you go look. If you don't use weights, my friends. You're not going to get that sculptured look. You can't get it with kicks and jumps and flips and fly. You're not going to get it. Now, it's all according to what you want, my friends. Everybody don't want necessarily what they want to get into shape. But I don't approve of these high-intensity workouts only because I know we don't stick with it. You know, it's like the gyms. As I said before, I have a couple of friends that own gyms. They sign up a lot more people than they could ever accommodate. If everybody came to the gym, they sign up, 
they be standing in the hall. But they know people go at it like crazy for a month or two, and they quit. They know that. They count on that. That's why they make you sign contracts. No month to month. They want you to sign six months a yearly contract. Because nobody ain't going to stick at it. Now, this is much more controlled, weightlifting and moderate, than this high-intensity stuff. You know, there's another guy named Simmons. I don't know. He's, he faded out. You know, I forgot all his name. He was another one of those jump-around guys. But he was never intense as these guys are now. And they and they more than still in your face. They call it insanity because it's insanity to do it. I mean, you know, because it's that moment. I mean, and you can make, and these guys making a nice buck. They're proliferating those kind of intense workouts. I don't recommend it. That's my take on it. I don't recommend it if you're serious. If you want to go and have fun and test it out, fine. I'm not saying don't go. I'm not trying to lead people. I just want them to think and say, is this what I want? Am I going to pay X amount of dollars? And then they have the DVDs, which you pay, to, you pay for, that they send you at home now. I look at that and I say, boy, you've got to really be committed to do that at home by yourself. See, when they get these big cold, these big gymnasiums all doing this fun, they're like, hey, 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 laughing and kicking the can off. But they send, and then you see that on TV, and then you buy the DVDs and don't realize how important the atmosphere is to that kind of stuff. It's kind of hard to be kicking and jumping and kind of for 45 minutes an hour by yourself. The commitment. And the motivation is very strong to do that. But then, I, as I'm saying, CrossFit and all these things, it is, if you, it's better than, in my estimation, than not doing anything. But I don't recommend you thinking it's some magic, because it isn't. And you really have to be committed. You can lose weight with it, but the point is, make sure that when you do this, that it's not losing the weight, and then you can sit back and go back to the to the hamburgers and the popcorn and the ice cream, because that don't work. You still have to watch your diet, and you still have to maintain, maybe not as intense as in, at the beginning, but you still have to maintain that intensity. So I, I uh, it's your decision, and uh, I know that if you want a steady program that you can build on on a slow, measured way, you can't beat weight training. There's nothing to touch it. And I'm not telling you something I heard or read. I'm telling you something I know. I'm telling you from experience. And I, I look, I don't have to try that, that um, uh, all these intensity, high intensity programs, because we did it with weights, not like that, though. But we used to do what you call burnouts. You know, we would burn out one day, but that's once a week, and that was sporadically. But they want you to do But the difference was we were using weights, and 95% of these programs don't use weights. So make a decision. I'm not saying don't. I'm just saying when you try it, say to yourself, what do I want from it? But I'm able to maintain it. And then make the decision. I say nothing beats a steady program of training three times a week with weights. You can't beat it. You can't beat it for longevity. You can't beat it for stability. You can't beat it for the building of muscle. You can't beat it for the building of strength. It cannot be beat. But that's the decision you've got to make. I just want to tell you my take on it. And you take it from there. And you also have to take to be... I get a kick out of this. But I mean it. To be continued. I haven't left for my friends. And when I say to be, to be continued, don't think that when I finish talking to you, because we're having a conversation, really. When I finish talking to you, I hang up and that's it. Uh-uh. I haven't hung up yet. I'm still there for you. But just give me that quick take on high-intensity training. To be continued. I quit this bitch. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Before you click away, I want you to subscribe, like, comment, hell, even dislike if you want to. At least do something before you get out of here.